What is that face for? Whose pee are you smelling? Look at them all. Isn't that cool as heck? Look at that. That is so cool. All my tortoises. Woo! Swallowed it all. Right back into the water. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Lexotic Animal Ranch. Today you guys, what we have in store for you all is another day here on the ranch and that involves feeding some of the animals. A lot of people here on the channel love to see the crocodilians on the ranch. So what we're about to do right now is we have a ton of mice in a container right there, defrosted, and we're gonna grab all those mice and we're gonna feed those guys to our caimans and American alligator Louie and our spectacle caiman so we're gonna head over there right now and go feed these guys I actually did a little bit of weed whacking a couple days ago so it's nice and leveled down and we took out some of the hyacinth in there because it grows absolutely crazy fast so we got all that out of there uh, other than that redfoot season has started right now so we're by the redfoot tortoise enclosure and we've been getting a ton of eggs already so if you haven't done so already go check out Blake's exotic ranch.com on our website because there you will be able to see what we have available for tortoises and turtles and wood turtles and box turtles so make sure you guys check that out and go see what we have in store as well one last thing before we go to the crocodilians we're going to start heading over there right now marty's going to go absolutely crazy because he or she is going to see the mice inside of this container and just go ballistic uh, so we'll give him a little piece real quick but uh before we get into feeding everybody else and all that stuff many people were hitting me up in the dms on instagram saying that i should start uh an nft collage so i did so so make sure you guys go check out my nft collection in that collection you'll be able to see some of the animals that are on there that will you can check for nft so make sure you go check that out swipe up um go check it out in the description see all that stuff you know what i mean so uh other than that let's uh feed the crocodilians all right so we'll grab ourselves a little defrosted mouse right here and we will feed this bad boy to marty there you go marty and that is gone swallowed a whole a lot of people hit me up and they're like that's so funny that you have a kookaburra as a pet because here in australia they're everywhere and all this stuff, which is really, really cool. I'm sure a lot of people don't like them there because they're so loud and you're just so used to it. But obviously people for us in the States, we're not used to these kind of birds. So it's really cool to have that kind of bird in our collections. It would be really cool one day to go to Australia and to see these guys. But as you guys know how crazy this world is right now, um, we're probably not gonna be able to go there as of right now because it's just, it's just crazy out there right now. But other than that, we're here next to my uh, gators and caiman enclosure and these guys are definitely wanting to eat you see louis right there they hear our voice they probably already smell the mice and all that stuff louis what are you doing buddy louis is a nice nice female american alligator that we have here on the ranch under four foot just a gorgeous gorgeous gator right there and uh, i made this a little higher just for that reason so that the gators can't climb right out so let me grab myself a little mouse real quick and Bring it over here. Louis, come here. Comes right back, yep, calling me. And we have the little spectacle came in as well in the background. So here we go. We'll grab this little, right? Woo! Swallowed it all, right back into the water. We're doing this by myself with one hand. And um, we're gonna try to get the spectacle came in to come. <laughs> so I always use my tongue because I don't want to get bit by anybody. And they hang on tight. My God, girl. That was a freaking death grip and a half. You know, the mouse is still in your mouth. You know, you can eat it first. There you go. Get back in the water. Here, Louie. Louie, 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 there we go, 
There we go. Right in place. Got to see the other specs. Those two are the only ones that really uh, get the mice. There's one more left. There's two more Caymans back there, but they just really don't want to eat anything. Lily's just scrubbing right now. They're just going to keep on eating. I'm going to give this last one to this big spec. Come here. Huh? Oh, yeah. Jump right up. There you go. All right, so we're going to go get some croc chow and feed the others with the croc chow because these two are the only ones that really, really like the mice and come up and not, but they're not shy at all. But this guy, this female is actually really, really spicy and she's a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, spectacle caiman we have here. And look at the colors on her. Really, really cool. Look at all the teeth and everything on her. All right, Missy, we'll be back with some croc chow. Now we jump right into feeding some of the large African spur thighs here on the ranch or Slokata tortoises. It's evening here, so they're all moving around. They don't have any grass in their enclosure because obviously they ate it all. There's a large herd of them here on my ranch. Not that large, but you know, decent size. And it's a group of 10, uh, 4.6. So what we're doing right now is bringing in all the produce and they get produce probably around two times a week. And then the rest of it is hay and once a week is a uh, tortoise chow from Missouri. One second, let me lock this gate. So these guys are up and going. If you don't have a barrier around your enclosure, they see through, they wanna go through. So these roofing panels work real great for me. I like to use them a lot. This enclosure is about, uh, I would say 60 by 60. It's very large and they're going absolutely crazy. Look at them all moving, going psycho because they are hungry and they can smell it. And if you can see the biggest one that hear me talking so they're coming towards me, the biggest one here on the ranch is my big boy, Jerry, right here in the front. He's the first tortoise I raised up here on the ranch. He was just the size of a quarter, like the ones we have available on the website. These are the ones that you would be, uh, these are the parents where you would be getting the babies from if you were getting a tortoise off of my website. But look at them, they're all squatted up all lined up looking amazing doing their thing and they have they're following my voice they know my voice very well but the lettuce is over there it's pretty funny the donkeys and the cows are taking a look too oh my god this is a squad right here all right look at them all isn't that cool as heck look at that that is so cool all my tortoises well, not all of them but all my sulcatas but yeah we're gonna still need to add some trees in here and i'm thinking about maybe adding a couple pairs of different types of geese inside of this enclosure. Not too sure, we're gonna figure it out. So today's diet is just a mixture of all different types of stuff. I mean, it's all mixed greens. And again, this is just like something for them to eat. So I just start throwing it all around everywhere for them. And that's it, she goes everywhere. Just like if they're grazing, they'll be grazing. Get it, throw it. It's a nice piece of lettuce right there. So let me get more. Here. The chickens are able to come to this side now, so they all run around. This is the emus and chickens and bennies and moors side. I mean, this area is massive. It's over, as you remember, we're doing the aviary. It's a 200 feet long by 60 feet wide, giant pasture for these guys. Literally just one cow, one donkey, and all the other birds. Let's keep on throwing more lettuce because there's a lot more to throw around for everybody. So uh, let's get that going. Keep it going. A little bit of fruits and veggies. Some dragon fruit I see that's in here as well. Uh, all the tortoises in the back today got pellet, but these guys are going to get greens. They go back and forth, mix it all up. So that whole section there is good so they're gonna go for the fruits now throw that apple over there there's a freaking lizard on my foot all right let's keep it going but this is just a normal everyday thing here on the ranch that we got a couple little pieces you don't want to miss miss that up because if they do digest that they can pass through it. I've actually had that happen before on my mistake. And it's a scary thing because the tortoise can get very sick and can pass away. So you always want to make sure you pick up all the wrappers and especially all of the rubber bands. Uh, stickers are okay. Stickers will go right through them. No problem. And a lot of people are going to say, oh my God, don't ever do that. But I'll tell you one thing. 
I don't know, not one breeder that takes off every single sticker off every single apple or every single type of thing. If you see that over there, I have an eye for, uh, what's that called? What I just said. The little blue things, the little bracelet thingies, the bands. Look at that right there. Right there. That yellow one? I got to get that before we leave. Got to get that bad boy. Got to get them out of here because it smells like lettuce and they will eat it up. We got a nice papaya right there. We'll throw that to the chickens. Chickens will chick it all up. Eat it all up. It's a nice romaine right here. So we can throw some to the emus, to the chickens and everybody. Ah, even though they have grass and everything for them. But they just, you know, a little bit of extra greens won't hurt them at all. Uh, yeah. Emus are looking great. Hopefully, this season we'll be able to get uh, some eggs from them. That's going to be really, really cool. And I'm really looking forward to that. So we can hopefully hatch out some uh, tortoises. No, <laughs> Talking about tortoises. Look at me. I'm all over the place. Talk about hatch about emus. That's what I'm talking about. Let me uh flip this camera real quick. Yeah, I was all over the place right there, huh? Talking about hatching tortoises when we were talking about emus. It's going through my head, you guys. It's going through my head. Another band right here. Gonna always go around, pick all up. I already took out probably 90% of all of the stuff too but there was just still more that I need to pick up. And this is just a vlog of just everyday things here on the ranch, you guys. So if you guys enjoy these kind of videos as well, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments. Oh, I just hit moors in the head with a huge head of romaine lettuce. But if you guys enjoy these videos, let me know down in the comments. This is just a video of just everyday life here of the ranch. Really not too many projects as of the next couple of days because of the fact of i'm going to be going out of town you guys can see that on instagram i'm not going to say where i'm going yet but you guys will see that all um we're going for actually kenya's birthday so uh yeah it's gonna be pretty dope she's uh turning another age you know that's birthday things um yeah but i'm just you know talking around vlogging around we still have a lot more lettuce to go i'll show you just keep it going just keep it. oh my god another another one no another freaking one make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up because this is all happening with one hand uh. and these are so as we eat all this today this will be all gone and in about an hour these guys are definitely monsters and a lot of people don't like african spur thighs because they say there's too many of them on this earth but at the end of the day, there's a lot of a lot of things on this earth. So who cares at the end of the day? If you're able to take care of them properly, if you're able to have a large enough area for a dog, you're able to have a large enough area for a tortoise. Like I said, just make sure the perimeter is sealed so they can't see to go through. And wherever their house is at, this is a tip right here. Pay attention. I'm telling you what your tip is. Are you guys ready? Game changer. A lot of people are like, oh my God, that's such a great idea. Well, game changer tip right here. If you got a Socorro Torres and it's digging a lot and it's digging where its house is at, put concrete bricks on the bottom, send they like stepping stone bricks or go to your local uh, feed store, uh, stock store, uh, livestock store. I don't know anything with animals that has horse supplies. They should have a rubber mat. It's very, very heavy. They probably could be from 30 to a hundred dollars. Matters where, where you're at in the States or wherever you're at in this world. But those things work magics like it works great and with that right there all you have to do is put it on the bottom of the enclosure you can't dig through no more and your tortoise stops digging ah socados are horrible aren't they because they dig so much you can prevent situations if you know what you have to do that socados now for over 15 years and you learn you learn if they have a spot that they're digging a lot you put some rebar in the ground you put some real thick hog panels on the floor they stop they stop digging there's no more digging they can't dig through metal so as long as you put a little teeny bit of effort what you're supposed to do for all your animals. You can have a Socada tortoise. So everybody that complains on the internet, Socada tortoises are horrible. They're really not. Make a proper enclosure for them. And they're not horrible at all. Yeah, they might eat all your grass, but you can put mulch on the floor, you keep it dirt. Not that big of a deal. Everybody freaks out about them. There's a lot of dogs out there. There's a lot of tortoises out there. There's a lot of people out there. What's one more Socada tortoise gonna do with Yugi? take care of it properly if you're gonna have a pet tortoise no matter what species of tortoise they're gonna live for over 50 years guaranteed so always need to have a plan afterwards anyways but enough rambling and blambling about socada tortoises i'm gonna finish up this feeding and maybe get and show you guys one more animal here on the ranch today on the update of the ranch 
So we'll end the video here inside of the farm animals in the farm section. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned to you all is stay tuned in the next few months, we will be having a bunch of kids here on the ranch. Kids meaning baby goats, a ton of baby goats. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven does that are on this ranch, correct? Seven does, we have one buck, he has been inside of this enclosure now for just about three to four weeks. So we are expecting to have some kids from December through February, 100%. And with seven does, you guys, we can have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, almost 12 plus, even it could be less, but 12 plus kids here on the ranch around those times. So stay tuned for that. We'll definitely keep you guys updated and show you guys the goats when they're coming of size of when they're going to be starting to have babies but other than that they're all looking great they're all looking amazing the dad will be captain and then we have all of the does other than that the goats are doing amazing the animals are doing great if you guys haven't checked out all the other videos here on the ranch i definitely say you guys go do that it's a lot of different things that's been happening and uh you guys are missing out if you haven't seen it at all at all um other than that everything is looking good um the rainbow eucalyptus trees are getting very very large that is a 10 foot pole and it's getting right to that size so those trees are just probably at around 11 foot now which is really cool since we got them at just around five to six foot so they doubled in size in just about a month and a half which is awesome one of my favorite trees and we have two of them here on the ranch now they're gonna overgrow the size of that black bamboo right there which is gonna be really really cool but other than that you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video here on the ranch we did a little update of some of the animals on the ranch uh that is uh the crocodilians the alligators feeding them the large sucata tortoises some facts about them and things that i definitely think would be good so if you just joined in right now for some odd reason and you skipped all of the end you missed everything in the middle so go watch the whole video go check it all out other than that make sure you guys like this video put those post notifications on subscribe whatever way it's supposed to go my sister gets mad at me when i do it the wrong way but you guys get what i'm talking about other than that oh look at that can't get a room can they i guess it's breeding season for turkeys you know what that means eggs are going to start coming soon and we're definitely going to have to hatch out more because of the fact that we only have one hen and two toms and uh that's not good. They're beating up that one hen. So we're going to have to hatch out some eggs. So we have a lot of things to do here on the ranch, like always. But other than that, I'll see you guys all later. Have a good day. I appreciate all the support. Appreciate all the comments. Appreciate all the likes. And I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, everyone.